What's going on guys and in today's video I'm going to be explaining why I think that Black Ops 6 Zombies is Treyarch's last ever chance at Call of Duty Zombies. Sounds like a strange thing to say but there's lots of different reasons for this. This video is even scripted, it's coming from the heart, I've got a lot to say about this so without further ado let's jump into it. So first of all to me personally it all goes back to Black Ops three zombies and that surprisingly enough came out in 2000 and what 15 2015 so nine years ago it'll be 10 years ago before we know it and that was arguably one of the best zombies experiences of all time as some of the best maps such as shadows of evil the rising drac god crovy revelations all those amazing maps. Zetsuba no Shimi, yeah, was a good map, but not so much. But overall, it was a fantastic zombies experience. And um, we haven't really had an experience like that to this day. But it's not just about the maps. It's about the gameplay mechanics. The zombie hood was nice and simple. We had gobble gums. And we had like a proper, proper storyline where everyone was invested. Big YouTubers such as NoahJ456, Mr. Roffer Offwalls, Mr. Darty JD. The hype was real, so much real, like people were getting views, and I mean a lot of views, like streams were getting um, way more hype than they have been like since forever. I don't remember the last time streams for Call of Duty Zombies were hyped up as much as they were in Black Ops 3. Then um, fast forward to 2018 and Black Ops 4 Zombies was released. Now everyone was even more hyped for this game fully enough. I know I said the hype in Black Ops 3 was higher but I'll explain that in a second. But the hype was unbelievable. Black Ops pulled all of the socks. We had Blood of the Dead, Voyage of Despair, 9 classified four zombies maps on day one and everyone was really excited everyone was like oh my god what's gonna happen this is insane four maps on day one never heard anything like it they introduced custom mutations all these crazy new features and new experiences and then when the game came out it all fell apart and zombies have been going on a downhill wood hill trajectory ever since because what black ops 4 did that was wrong is um because trial were thinking oh black ops 3 went really well let's just overload everyone on black ops let's give him so much stuff but because there was so much content out there um and obviously track were developing the game on a three-year dev cycle at the time they um essentially overworked themselves and overwhelmed themselves to the point where the maps had bugs in them there was numerous problems uh, with easter egg steps not working correctly um the community was divided um and essentially what ended up happening is people's games were crashing and things weren't working correctly there were so many different factors to this and as a result of that the popularity of zombies literally took a huge nosedive i've never seen anything like it so it went from being one of the most hyped game modes in the game to the least hyped game mode and then the dlcs that came out and there was ma really good maps that released such as ancient evil for example who had like which really had some of the best mechanics in a zombies map i thought ancient evil was one of the best zombies maps of all time in my personal view but unfortunately because of the mechanics of black ops 4 and the horrendous release of all the glitches and bugs most people just switched over to blackout and um, eventually warzone and all that kind of stuff so people weren't playing the game mode and black ops 4 did not get the appreciation and therefore truck really messed up as a result of that then let's fast forward to Cold War Zombies, which was released in 2020. This was during COVID. A lot more people were, to be fair, playing video games as a whole. But Cold War, you know what? For the most part, considering the circumstances, Treyarch did a fantastic job of the mode as a whole. Um, I thought it was really unique and different. Now I had to create the class system and all the rest of it. Yes, it was on the easiest side. But there was a couple of good maps here and there. Like D-Machine was a pretty good launch map. And I actually genuinely thought the Mao Tome was pretty good. Didn't like the Outbreak side of things. But it wasn't fresh new idea, I suppose, from the time. And to be fair, I did enjoy Outbreak when it first came out. Not so much now. But um, they did innovate on that part. And the popularity of Zombies was pretty mixed. So again, there was a lot of division in the community. So Black Ops 4 Zombies. No, Black, Black Ops 4 Zombies, um, Outbreak and uh, Round Base Zombies on a 50-50 basis, but it felt like at the time Treyarch were putting more resources into Outbreak, which negated the Round Base players. There was all this division going on. But the point I'm trying to make is there's always been division and problems in Zombies, but they've become more apparent in more recent years. I felt like personally when I was playing, let's say, World of War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, there was a lot less complaints about the mode itself, but these days there seems to be a lot more division of where the mode should go and what direction it should take 
because when Liberty Falls um, was announced, um, Black Ops 6 Zombies, um, the, the mood went right down. So Terminus was released first, so everyone was really hyped up. And I'll admit that looks like a fantastic Zombies map. It looks cool, the atmosphere is perfect, got all these new things going on, and it looks like they've done a a really good job of it from what we've seen so far again we've not played it comes out next week can't wait to get my hands on it however then liberty fold comes along i'm showing you gameplay here and as you can see in the gameplay there's not much atmosphere there's not much going on people are happy about it but i made a video saying why i think liberty falls could be one of the better zombies maps and i still do believe that in a way because i feel like it's a more simple experience and i feel like people will jump on it a lot more and i think the play numbers will be higher and to be honest we haven't seen the full map trail did announce that they're making some changes as well in terms of the atmosphere and stuff like that and people have got to remember that, that wasn't the full final product people jumped the gun and to be fair i jumped the gun at the beginning but then realized hang on a minute this isn't fair on treyarch there could be a lot more to this than sees the eye and they pretty much confirmed that um, but again, I just genuinely feel like um, if Treyarch doesn't be doesn't remain consistent this year with round-based zombies, doesn't backtrack in it. If it, if it backtracks in anything, um, makes horrible choices in terms of how how the game goes forward, then I genuinely think this would be the last zombies game because I can't see them recovering from another downfall um, spiral once again. We've already seen zombies change in many different ways. It's clearly catered to more Warzone players um, in 2024 compared to what it used to be in terms of the HUD and the way it, way it functions and stuff like that. And I feel like um, it's sort of hanging on by a thread. I mean, I know it's more hyped up, but overall, we can't... I mean, I'm going to compare it to Black Ops 3, but uh, Black Ops 4. The hype for Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 was way higher, way more... Um, way more... And the maps are just way more involved and way more... Um, unique compared to what they re they're releasing now because to be quite honest with you yes liberty falls is a simple map but i will admit it's a very unoriginal idea in terms of what they could have done like they've literally got a multiplayer map and i feel like that is a little bit lazy they could have at least come up with a new location in my personal view to create this similar sort of setting but they chose not to again people might say it's to re it, it might just say it speeds up development but they have had four years so that is um a bit irritating and you've got to remember black ops 4 while the Esther was bugs, the Esther was problems, they released four zombies maps on day one and they were all unique experience for the most part. Yes, Blood of the Dead and Classified were remakes, but they built on them and they um, they felt more zombified. And I'm hoping the Liberty Fall change that Truck do make um, will add to the map because if they don't, then I feel like people are just going to lose faith in zombies completely. I'm starting to lose faith, to be honest with you, because the past few years have been rough. I mean, we've even had game modes such as Vanguard, for crying out loud. And Vanguard was probably should have been released full stop, the game as a whole, but the zombies mode in particular was horrible. It was just a complete mess. It was just an outbreak. There's like a worse version of Outbreak, and, this, and it just felt dull and depressing and lifeless. It was full of bugs on launch, I remember that, um, if I remember correctly. I mean, I hell hardly remember the game now. I've barely touched it, like, in forever. It was a horrible experience. I didn't even make any videos on it for the channel, because I was like, you know what, this is just too depressing. And the only good thing that came out of it, what was the set Zuba and Shino Numa, sorry, Reborn, and even that was a bit like, eh bit mediocre but um i wasn't too impressed with that as a whole but the reason they released that is because there was pressure on um a trail arc to create zombies while sledgehammer um were producing the uh, vanguard game because they just can't produce zombies to save their life but the game mode has just been through a mess as a whole we're not even Treyarch, it's just other developers have made zombie modes never been as good as Treyarch. but i feel like with zombies now it's got to a stage where if black ops 6 doesn't get it right the mode is definitely done i just feel like they've they've really got to pull out the stocks here they've got to show the community a lot more passion and care this time around and to be quite honest with you they've really messed up with the liberty falls launch um in terms of the way they um, marketed it and showed it off to the community i thought it was completely wrong um because obviously you want to create a first good impression and liberty falls is not a first good impression in my personal view 
and I feel like uh, with Trark, uh, Trark have promised that the map's going to be different. I'm hoping they, st they stick to that because if they don't, the trust in the community is going to 100% be down the drain. I feel like there's no coming back from that because um, the community is going to lose patience eventually. I mean, this has been going on for years at this point, nine years since Black Ops 3, and it's been a downward spiral as a whole. It's not really um, recovered from that. So we need, we the Trark needs to pull out the stocks. It has to. Anyway, guys, I've got nothing else to say on the subject. I really do hope that Black Ops 6 ends up being a success and it brings back the hype that we need and it innovates and listens to the community. Because if not, those things are going to happen. It's just going to be a downward spiral and I feel like trust is a key thing and um, integrity bound Treyarch's part and the community, to be fair, because the community's got to remember that uh, while Treyarch do make mistakes, they make a lot of mistakes. Same with Activision, they do really bad things sometimes. They don't listen to the community. At the same time that the community needs to respect Treyarch, it needs to respect the developers, and work, we need to work together. I think both parties need to work together in order for this game to be a success. Well, mainly the zombies mode I'm focusing on. Because if not, things will fall apart. And I'm glad that Treyarch have hopefully listened to the community on Liberty Falls. And I'm hoping that continues. Because it's about feedback and it's about um, respect at the end of the day. Is there calling Treyarch or names under the sun and being really horrible about them? Or other YouTubers or whatever have you. We need to work together and give crit it's not what's the word i forgot the word um constructive that's it constructive feedback and constructive feedback is it's essential absolutely essential because then we can make a better game for everyone and a better game mode and hopefully this could either be the best zombies mode ever or the worst zombies mode ever there's no way about it anyway guys that is it for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one